Alright, so today we are going to build a portable Raspberry Pi. The parts and tools you need are right in front of me. There might be some extras I'm leaving out, but these are the main things you'll need. First, of course, a Raspberry Pi. This is for a $45 computer. Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi 2. Um, for the screen, you will need a 2.8 inch capacitive touchscreen from Adafruit. For power, you will need a USB portable battery pack. This one is a 5,200 milliamp hour battery pack, and it has two USB out. You also need, for the Raspberry Pi 2, you will need a micro SD card, and to load the OS on, you will need a SD card reader. Uh, to encase it, you will need a case. It uh, can really be anything. It could be a lunchbox. It could be a little plastic case that I got for a few bucks at Radio Shack. It could really be anything. A book. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just case. Um, you also need a little wireless keyboard. Or it, it could be wired, but I prefer wireless. With a trackpad, I got this for about 30 bucks at Best Buy. So, pretty good deal there. To attach everything to the case, you will need some 440 uh, bolts and nuts. And then some of the tools, you'll need a Dremel to cut holes out in your case. You'll need a screwdriver to help fasten the bolts. And uh, also to help fasten the bolts, you'll need some pliers. And a drill with all the necessary drill bits. Let's start building. Alright, so now it's time to build the Raspberry Pi. Now, what I did uh, to cut out the hole for the TFT was I placed the TFT the way it would be placed and I just marked it off with a pencil. So now I am going to get my safety glasses, which were over there for some reason. And put them on because we're about to use our Dremel. Maybe move some of the more sensitive stuff away from the shrapnel. Now, I have a uh, cutoff tool on here now. And I suggest you have a fan or your garage door open or your back door open uh, while you're doing this because this can create fumes which uh, give you headaches and so on. So it's, it's not the best to be in an, in an enclosed space. So I'm just going to turn it on. Okay, so now that we have the hole cut out, and cleaned up, you can try and fit the Pi TFT inside your case. And if you did it right, it should be able to just kind of pop right in there. Mine is not, so I'm just going to take That's gonna look horrible. Ah -ha. Okay. Well, now that we have that all dealt with, now that it fits in there nice and snug, maybe with a little bit too much room, but that's fine. This doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it better, but uh, as you can see, I'm not the best with the Dremel. So, all right. So. Before you install the screen, um, you need to take the screen and you need to put it on top of your Raspberry Pi, like so. Put it inside the case. And then you need to look underneath and you can see the ports right here. And you can kind of just kind of like with everything else, I'm not really a big 
fancy guy who needs to take exact measurements. But you just need to take a pencil, you just need to kind of outline, sketch where those ports are on your Raspberry Pi. And you also need to take these ports right here and try and figure out about where you want that to go. I'm going to say about here. And you might, especially this one, you want to make it a pretty big port because you'll have to be able to uh, get inside here easily. So maybe lengthen it up a little bit and make it taller than it has to be. So now let's cut it. All right, so now that we have the outlines on here, we can now cut it out. I also made an outline on the inside of here for the outline for the SD card. Um, that's also kind of just an eyeball. Oh, here we go. pieces cut out. Alright, so now that we have the hole cut in our box, we can now put the screen in. Alright, so you'll want to have the uh, GPIO header that connects to your Raspberry Pi uh, pointing towards the middle. So as you can see, I have it inside the middle. I'm just gonna pop the screen in and uh, I've cleaned this up a little bit it's a bit nicer now and now uh, we need to take our drill and drill the holes in order to fasten it to our case now to hold it down I'm just gonna use a little bit of scotch tape here nothing too fancy some on the back and then some, and then some on the front, just to kind of hold this sucker down while we start drilling, okay? So it's in there nice, it, it's not moving very much. So now, just need to take our drill, and drill the holes. Okay, so now that I have drilled the holes in our box, I can now take the tape off, take the screen out, and now we just need to clean out these holes. Just simply... Now, it's perfectly normal for your screen to kind of flop around like this. Uh, once we put it in the case, it, it should be fine. So, now I'm going to take some of our screws, some of these screws, fit them through. And then, you can see the screw comes all the way through. It doesn't have to be too long, but you don't want it to be too short either. So, take some more of these. Fit them in. So, as you can see, I've started putting some of these screws in. And so... Now, 
now if your holes don't line up on some of them, all you have to do is kind of drill them again. And they should be good now. So it's okay to uh, drill them once or twice. But yeah. So that's how you attach it. I'm going to just put some nuts on these, and there you go. Now that we have finished fastening the screen to our case, we can now insert our Raspberry Pi. Now, the, uh, as you can see, some of these screws are interfering with these ports, but that's okay as long as we have a good connection. It'll make it look a little wonky, but in the end, it well, it'll still work. So now, we just need to take our case, secure it with screws provided. Just kind of start them off with your finger. And that is your Raspberry Pi Portable. In the next episode, you'll learn how to install the software and everything you need to get this thing up and running. Thanks for watching!